What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be the top 10 meta loadouts you can be running right now in Warzone 3. And we've got a ton of loadouts for you today, including some bonus loadouts as well. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video and you're always up to date on the meta. Let's go ahead and get you these loadouts and not waste any of your time. Right now, for tacticals, I'm running a stem or smoke. Completely up to you there. If I find a smoke in the game, I'm constantly picking it up. I'm running throwing knives as well. This saves you a ton of ammo when trying to thirst your enemies. And then for my perk packages right now, I'm going with Mountaineer, Double Time, and i'm either running primed or i'm running quick fix just both of them are so good to run uh, but i'm usually running prime because i'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive and then right now i'm running high alert for that fourth perk slot resolute's pretty solid and then flex is really nice um, when you're trying to hear footsteps a little bit better but um high alert's just so so crucial when you know you're getting spotted from a specific direction it just really helps you out for this first set of loadouts we're going with the sba 545 and then we're going with the striker for that sba 545 we're going with the zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle then we're going with the stv precision barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the 60 round mag and we're going with this new jack glassless optic how you unlock this this is brand new just dropped this week and gives you a little blue dot reticle up there you want to go to your challenges go to your weekly challenges and you want to complete in week four complete any five challenges from week four i did this in multiplayer that was a lot faster in multiplayer i did it in like 10 minutes i did the assault rifle challenges first which there are four of them did all of those in one game and then i did the triple kills with the battle rifle that next game it took me like 30 seconds no, i'm just kidding it took me like two minutes after that and that was easy man it was unlocked completely up to you how you do it you can do it in battle royale it's just going to take you a little longer but it's just as easy let me show this to you guys in the firing range here just this new this new site just really doesn't have much visual recoil at all Then we went with the striker for this SMG. We also going with the Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle, the DR6 hand stop under barrel, the 48 round mag, the Lockman MK2 light stock. And I'm still going with this Jack glassless optic. I was running an optic. I was running the MK3 on this. So I just switched over to the Jack glassless and it still rips very little recoil. And there's no, there's not a huge ADS dip. It's like a minus 2%. It's nothing to worry about. For this next set of loadouts, we're going with the Bass B and the Striker 9. Bass B is still pretty solid. It's a little harder at range to control now, but with this new optic and this uh, new muzzle that, I, not new muzzle, but a muzzle that I've been using this past week that I'm having a lot of fun with, it's a lot easier to control at range. For this Bass B, we're going with the Zimmon 35 muzzle, the Bruin Venom long barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip on the barrel, that Jack glassless optic, and the 45 round mag. Show this to you guys in the firing range. Again, very little recoil and a lot easier to control at range now for sure. Then for that striker nine, we're going with that Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle, the DR6 hand stop under barrel, the 50 round drum, the Lockman MK2 light stock, and that Jack glassless optic. You can run whatever site makes you comfortable, but that's the one I'm running for right now. And just, there's just no visual recoil. There's no reason not to run it right now, to be honest. Look at that. Just insane recoil control, man. Just so, so good. Before I get you these loadouts, if you want a new mobile game to try to help pass the time while you're at school or at work or just riding in the car or bus, do me a quick favor and go to the description of this video, the link that takes you to the app store on your phone and download Royal Match. Not only is it a quick escape from reality and a great way to relax, but my favorite thing about it, it's a mobile puzzle game that has no ads. Absolutely none. Royal Match is a three puzzle game in which you help this king named Robert build and renovate his castle. It's completely free and you don't even need internet to play unless you want to compete with your friends which is also an option so play offline to unwind or play against your friends to compete but either way download royal match for free today using the link down in the description or the comments or even this qr code that will be down at the bottom of this entire video and of course thank you to the team over at royal match for sponsoring this video now let's get you your loadout for this next set of loadouts we're going with the bp50 and the amr9 i'm having a lot of fun running both of these the bp50 for me is really really good in solos and duos in trios and quads it's a little harder to use because there's only 45 rounds i think if this thing had like a 50 just five more rounds like 50 or a 60 round mag either one of those would be great but man it's just it, that 45 round really holds this one back i feel like but again very very solid with this bp50 we're going with that zimmon 35 muzzle the lore 9 heavy barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel the jack glassless optic and the 45 round mag show this to you guys in the firing range here just very little recoil man like i said it will take care of three enemies full plated but 
that 45 round mag really really holds it back in my opinion but not much visual recoil at all And for that AMR9, that Zim and Muzzle, the AMR9 Commando Pro Barrel, the DR6 Handstop Under Barrel, that new Optic, and the 50 round mag. Show this to you here in the firing range. Just, man, the AMR9 is so good too. I think the AMR9 is really honestly my number two right now. I think you put that 100 round mag on here also if you want to. It's just so easy to control here at short range and mid range. Just a lot of fun. Then for this next loadout, we're going with the Ram 7 and the Ram 9. The Ram 7 with this new optic is a lot of fun. I haven't been running it with an optic because there's really not an optic that I really love to run with it. I've been running all iron sights with the Ram 7. But with this new optic, it's not bad at all. With this Ram 7, we're going with the Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle, the XRK Core Mark 40 heavy barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel, the new jack optic, and the 60 round mag. Show this to you guys here in the firing range. There's just no, there's just no visual recoil at all with this thing, man. So good. And then for this Ram 9, we're going with that Zim and Muzzle, the DR6 Handstop Under Barrel, the 50 Round Mag, the Recon Comb Comb, and that Haste XV Grip Tape. And this Ram 9 is just, man, it's just an absolute beam as well. Not bad at mid range at all. A really, really solid up close. For this next set of loadouts, this one might surprise you a little bit, but I ran the Lockman sub or the MP5 this week. Fun to run, not meta, but this is one of your bonus loadouts. And then the Bruin MK9 with this new site is so good. And you'll see once you try it yourself, I'm, but I'm loving the Bruin right now. For that Lockman sub, I'm going with the L4 flash hider muzzle, the SL skeletal vertical grip. I'm using the high grain rounds here because it does deal a little bit more damage because of the bullet velocity, the 50 round drum and the FT mobile stock. And man, this was a throwback. I wouldn't use it much past, uh, well, mid-range is not bad in the firing range at least, but definitely a close range wep weapon option, um, but a lot of fun to run. I had a lot of fun running it this week. And then for that Bruin, the Bruin was so, so good. I'm running that Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle, the XRK Horizon V2 barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel, the new Jack optic, and that 60 round mag. But man, this thing is just... It, I thought the Bruin with like um, one of these other meta optics like the uh, Corio Eagle's Eye and things like that. That thing had a lot of visual recoil and you'll see it right here. But it had a lot of it, not a ton, but a lot more shake to it. Especially with that, uh, I guess that T-Pose reticle kind of really threw it off there. But man, with this new Jack optic, dude, there's just, there is no recoil at all. Just none. It's just so so good very underrated lmg right now for sure for this next set of loadouts this is the best loadout you can be running right now if you're running warzone ranked or you're running pubs whatever you're running right now is the mtz 762 and the hrm9 this is just the most consistent all around and especially with this new optic the mtz 762 does not move at all it's just absolutely insane for this mtz we're going with this zimmon uh muzzle that mtz precision blackthorn barrel the bruin heavy support grip under barrel i glitched the 40 round mag on there you can't do it anymore but i was smart enough to save it but just run that 30 round mag you'll be just fine and then the new jack optic let me show this thing to you guys it's just absolutely insanely look it just makes it even more broken this thing does so much damage as is but it's so easy to control now Then we're going with that HRM9, going with that Zim and Muzzle, the Thorn 90 barrel, the DR6 hand stop under barrel, the 50 round drum, and the folding stock. This thing is just absolute beam and consistent, so consistent, a lot of fun to run. This next loadout, this is a very close second for the MTZ 762 for me. The pull mitt is just, it is the best LMG. Hands down, very consistent, very high TDK, and very little recoil, which you can't pass up. It's better than the Evolver now, for sure. But yeah, the Evolver had a very short run, but still, the Evolver's still decent, but not better than the pull mitt, and you won't convince me otherwise. But for this pull mitt, we're going with that Zimmon uh, muzzle, the Jack Annihilator long barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel, the Jack Annihilator bullpup kit, and that Jack glassless optic. And... Dude, this thing's just a beam. It doesn't move at all. It is very easy to control. You have a total of 100. In the firing range, you're taking out three dummies at a time with only 28 bullets. That's insanely good. So keep that in mind. 
you can rock the WSP Swarm if you want to. I don't think it's completely meta, but I do get asked for this uh, loadout quite a bit. You have to have this Jack BFB on there. If you don't have this Jack BFB on there, you're not controlling the recoil on this thing. Unfortunately, the Jack BFB does decrease the bullet velocity by like 18%, but you have to have this recoil gun kick on there. You're rocking the WSP Reckless 90 long barrel, the DR6 handstop under barrel, 100 round drum because you're gonna need it. I put the new Jack uh, optic on there, felt pretty good. Uh, you could use whatever optic makes you comfortable or not an optic at all and just run like a stock to handle that recoil control even more like the fortress heavy stock is a solid one but like i said if you have this jack bfb on you're not gonna have any not too much trouble controlling the recoil but it does have a lot of a lot of gun kick Now, if you are wanting to snipe in Warzone, this is the best sniper. In my opinion, it is one shot at up to 50.8 meters without any special ammunition. I'm putting special ammunition on here, but without ammunition or special ammunition, you're going to be able to one shot your enemy in the head at 50.8 meters or below. But I did put a special ammo on here in order for it to maybe one shot a little bit farther. And it does work. But I'm also running this with my Milano 3.0 build and I'm running the new optic on it, which is still just as much of a beam with this optic as it is with that choreo eagle's eye that i usually put on there for this stalker you're gonna go with the sonic suppressor xl muzzle the fission 60 barrel special ammo that i'm putting on there is the high green rounds which isn't really special ammo but when i refer to special ammo i'm talking incendiary or explosive that's what i'm talking about something that happens when it on impact the high grain it just increases that bullet velocity damage range and effective damage range so you're gonna be able to one shot a little bit farther then we're rocking the xrk stalker light bolt along with no stalker stock here but again you're going to be able to one shot your enemies at up to 50.8 meters regardless what ammo you run Then for that Milano, we're rocking the WSP Optac Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 50 Round Mag, that new Jack Glassless Optic, and the WSP Classics Factory Stock. Show this to you guys here in the firing range. Like I said, it's still just an absolute beam. It's got almost the same exact damage profile as the MTZ 762, but you're getting all the mobile benefits of an SMG like this. Like I said, just an absolute fun fun loadout to run dropped a 33 with this thing and that xrk stalker just i had a blast using it this week had a blast but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this or like one of these we'll see you in the next one